much to learn you still have. Yes, Master. Hey guys, welcome back. We're down to the wire now. I've only got one more day until May the 4th. And while I have decided I'm not going to film on May the 4th, you guys are going to get a little bit of a sneak peek of my nephew and I practicing with lightsabers on that day. But the good news is the Vader costume is practically finished. The only things I have to do are just put a little bit of a finishing touch on the chest box, which means covering these two pieces of dowel in duct tape and then gluing them on, and then using the same duct tape to make straps for the both shin guards and the cod piece, and of course the chest box. Now I know this is not black, but I've got black magic markers since I'm out of time and I really can't go get like black duct tape. And also I'm going to pick up the bits for Luke, the Luke costume today. Um, a brown belt, and he can borrow my Jedi pouches, and a khaki long sleeve dress shirt with pockets that I can modify. It may end up a little bit big on him because he's sort of small for his age, but if I can find a small shirt with those colors, then I'll be good to go. Even if it's like gray, I would put up with it. Then all I'll have to do is take off the buttons and add Velcro instead, and then just get the lightsabers. I'm going to try and actually get some Hasbro hilts today. Again, no guarantees, but I need to get started with the duct tape. You know, duct tape is like the force. It has a light side and a dark side, and it holds everything together. I know, that joke is old. It's probably as old as duct tape in Star Wars. So, I'll see you guys later. Okay, well, apparently duct tape works pretty well for straps. I got the neck strap for the chest box. I also closed up the bottom with an extra strip of duct tape and colored it with a black sharpie. That's what I'm going to do with all these straps when I have the time. But yeah, the two uh, little things are on there. And look at this. And it lights up. Whee! So there's the chest box. And I made the strap for the uh, cod piece. Again, colored part of it black with the sharpie. And straps for each of the shin guards. Yay! And I also put a little bit of duct tape on those little pieces of um, poster board on the belt boxes. And uh, so there we go. Now the only thing you have to do with these is finish coloring them black and then make the cape and then we're all done. And I'm getting pretty excited about this. What I need to do as soon as I can is get the stuff for the Luke Skywalker costume and then make that tonight. But yeah, it's, this is woohoo! Excited! Okay, so the cape is a problem. For one thing, the piece of fabric I got is a little bit too narrow, but I think I can make do with that since I'm, you know, I don't have super broad shoulders even with this, uh, the shoulder piece. But uh, the problem is, I tried to hem it with uh, duct tape. The duct tape does not stick to fabric, apparently. <laughs> so what I'm going to have to do is find, if I can, some either black or very dark colored iron-on bias tape. And I don't know how much that costs or where to find it. So, yeah, that's a little bit of a problem. Or just find a really long iron-on strip and black bias tape. So... Yeah, I need to... So this is on hold until I can get some more materials, but this is how it all... It looks like all laid out. Um, shirt, pants, they're folded up and the cape's folded up and there's the belt boxes and the belt. Yes, I just added those little details on with a marker. There's the chest box, shoulder pieces, and helmet. So it is looking pretty good. I just need to finish the cape. Okay guys, so good news and bad news. The good news is I was able to get to the local thrift store and get the perfect, I mean perfect top 
for the Luke Skywalker costume and the perfect belt. I think they'll work out really, really well. The bad news is I had just gotten out of Walmart and then I realized, oh, I didn't get the lightsabers. So I'm hoping I can talk mom into letting me use several of the wrapping paper. That's what I was looking for, wrapping paper rolls. So I'll check back in when I'm home. Right now I'm off to the library. Okay, so once again, good news and bad news. The good news is I was able to put the, uh, to use fusible webbing to secure some bias tape to the cape although only on one side. The other side I'm going to secure with uh, <laughs> hot glue. The bad news is it's already 7.30, which means I need to wrap this up and you're not going to see the full Darth Vader costume until tomorrow, but whatever I can do to finish it tonight, I will. And there's something else I got for the cape. My dad had this length of chain that he was um, he offered to me, and it's not exactly the right kind of chain, but you know what? It will do nicely. So, that's all for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video and want to see more like it, go ahead and click the little subscription button down below. No question of the day, once again, but tomorrow is May the 4th. We're going to be filming this on May the 5th, on a Saturday. I'm going to basically drag my nephew outside and go... and stick him in the costume and then go here and you're gonna have to wait to see the Luke Skywalker costume until tomorrow and I'm, I have to tell you right now even with just the buttons cut off of that shirt and what I can do with the belt it already looks amazing I'm geeking out it fits in pretty well so until next time this is the clumsy Jedi signing off bye guys